Buenos dias, Gunners Collective. Back at it, you already know. Ask Mr. Criminal. She's a torta with the snack habit. Bye, ya. 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 Uh. Now trip out, man. As you can tell by that thumbnail right there. And first and foremost, happy Labor Day, man. It's Monday. You know, a lot of people ain't got to go to work, so they're going to lay in bed all day and watch Gunner videos. And I ain't mad at them. Sasuke, I am not mad at you because guess what's going to happen today? You're going to get educated on some realness. And also, man, you're going to have a good time while doing it. So first and foremost, I want to say like, subscribe. Thank you to all the gente, all the raza that's been supporting. We're going to keep this ball rolling. The shit don't stop until the panties drop. And if, even after they drop, Sasuke, hold some. You got to let me hold some. Can I hold some? Right? You got to tell her, man. Just, you know, you got to be in it to win it. And if it don't get, if it don't fit in, make it get in. Now, as you can tell by the thumbnail, you see the mascara of the Argentinian Mr. Criminal, right? And you say to yourself, well, Gunner, you say torta all the time. What's the big deal? Well, the big deal is this Volta came out with a song recently, the torta song, right? Talking about Chicanas or Mexicanas or what pe some people think is a derogatory term used to describe bigger women of the Mexican nature, right? It could be... White girls, I guess. Well, hey, the Featherwood, they're, they're, they're a little big. They're, they're kind of, I mean, you know, as long as they know how to cook crank, we're good. And then, of course, the Africanas, you know, and, um, the sisters, you know, the bubbleization is real. You know what I mean? Coco from SWV, where you at? That's just how it is. But I'm going to tell you right now, um, some people do take it as a derogatory term towards women. You know, fat shaming them or, or looking at them some type of way. And I have a lot of bigger homegirls, man. I have a lot of bigger homegirls that... Man, it don't matter what size. That's just more. That's just more to throw throw fists. You know these these hinders are down, man. The type of hinders that'll pull up quick and pop. Um, I myself have never had anything against bigger women. The word torta that is used to describe them could be seen as derogatory or could be seen as just plain. You know, it just depends on how you utilize it and if you really truly mean it to like be derogatory towards them. If you really mean it to hate on them. Now, Mr. Criminal comes out with this song, right? Um, and a lot of, he's getting a lot of backlash for it. A lot of people are hating or a lot of people have something to say because of it. I don't think the big problem is this torta song. I'm going to be real because I use the word every day. You guys know it's like a torta with the snack habit, right? Um, but I use it in fun and jest, but obviously, you know, um, some people do feel that way and I understand. And when people do get at me and ask me why I use it, it's just a term, man, that's been used throughout history in the Chicano culture, man. You know, we see a big girl, damn, look at that torta. But we could also say, man, she got a pan. You know what I mean? There's just different things that we say. Um, and it doesn't mean we think they're less than or that we think they're ugly. You know, it's just a word we use. It's a slang word within slang. Straight up. Now, the problem isn't Mr. Criminal using this word in a song. Mm -mm. The problem is how many times he fucking licks his lips while singing the song. That should be the true problem. That's what everyone should be concerned about. Fuck you, watch your music video, Mr. Criminal, it makes you want to take a shower. So that's can you don't even swing that way. I'm telling you, it's crazy, right? Like, you feel like fucking, about to just licked all over the back of your neck. Like, God damn, they're about to lick his lips so much. Um, that's the true problem with his music. But I don't see anything wrong or why people are giving him backlash on this Torta song. I thought it was a cool little song, a little catchy, got a little hook. You know, you don't hate the next man for getting a bag. You don't hate the next man for coming up with an idea, if it truly was his idea. You know, um, he's not putting the word torta on the map. Let's just say that I did. He's not the one um, uh, coming up with these grand schemes, these grand ideas. You know, everything that you do in life, you take from the school, right? The school of learning, educated. You see something else, you take it, you flip it, you flip it, then you reverse it. You pull the pennies down, mm, then you heard it, right? That's what you do in life. You know, you have to see someone do something first and then you do, you does that because that don't stop. Um... I seen uh, Gil from American Cholo, he did a little live, man, and he was talking about, you know, when Tyga came out with that song, Ay Caramba, um, people were tripping. I remember I was, everybody, every different YouTuber, uh, Rasa YouTuber was tripping. We had something to say. You know, we felt like this bottle was making Mexicans, Chicano culture, and everything look bad. And in some aspects, he was, but of course, he apologized. He took the video down. Gil led the good fight, went up there you know, to the Power 106 station and, and led the troops. And, and they came to some type of common understanding. Now, I understand that the Africano brothers felt a certain type of way because they were like, man, how many times do Mexicans utilize the black culture? Um, but there's a difference between embracing it and showing love and respect rather than, 
you know, clowning or disrespecting or making it into some type of fucking fun, you know, carnival fun show. There's difference, isn't there? You know, and I think the Africana brothers, uh, uh, the, the intelligent ones that are able to grasp that, that know what's up, they know. You know, we work hand in hand in whatever we do, man, to get that bag. That's just how it is. Now, if you want to do it on your own, do it on your own. We're going to do it on our own. But at the end of the day, teamwork makes the dream work. That's what I've always learned. You know, if you can work hand in hand with the other side or with the different uh, ethnicity, man, you guys are going to get more into that paper because at the end of the day, Wood, the white man marches on and they're not going to let you guys get shit, minorities. That's the way it is, you know. Uh, so we have to come together. Uh, as a force, a show of force, man, to get what we got. So now Mr. Criminal does this song, and people are giving him backlash. They're saying, you know, hey, he's not, you're not even Mexican, eh? You're from Argentina, right? They got all kinds of different things to say. This about the, yeah, raza, homie, entiendes, man, this. They got a lot to say about it. I don't think it comes down to if he's raza. He represents for the people. Now, he may not be raza. He might not be, he might be half or a quarter or even a, Give him, you know, even a dime, right? We don't know. But at the end of the day, it's not what he is. It's how he conducts himself. It's how he acts. He represents a culture, the Rasa culture. And that doesn't necessarily make him Chicano, but that makes him a representative of the Chicano culture. If that's what he wants to do, says, if a white guy from Ohio right now wants to throw a blue body or a red body over his shoulder and say, this is Norte or Sur, and he wants to do that, as long as he represents it well and professional and he's a stand-up dude, who are you or me to say that he can't? Now, he can never be Chicano. We understand that. But at the end of the day, Holmes, we can't, hey, to the bone. We can't take Miklo Belka's dreams away. You know? Blood in. And what, what is that that just came out? Right? We don't know. Guard! Help him. It's not ugly. It's ugly, right? Um, I'm the last one to hate on this guy for using the torta word, Mr. Criminal. I use it all the time. I got backlash for it. People got on my headpiece about it. But they're not going to change the way I talk. People are not going to dictate what I do. You know, I'm not doing it to hurt women's feelings or to make them feel less than or something else. That's not what it's intended for. It's intended as a joke, to have fun. And it's slang that we've used our whole lives. You know, like I said, I got a lot of bigger homegirls, man, that laugh when I say it. They be like, like a torta with the snack habit. I go, buy up, buy up. So we know what's up. That's just how it is. Um, but to see so many people causing a discussion or holding a discussion about this song, um, it's a trip. Now, I know, like I said, when we went in, all of us, on Taiga for the, the Aikarama song, um, we, were, we were adamant about getting that song taken down. We were adamant about you know, getting our motherfucking respect, eh? We were adamant about that because as Chicanos, as brown people, you know, we need ours, eh? And we're going to take ours by force. We're not the type of ethnicity or the type of race or group or whatever you want to call it to just fucking lay down and let you walk over us. Them years are over, homes. Them times are gone. You know, we kill each other so much within the prison system or any anywhere we're at that the time has come to band together to show everyone else, homes, we don't fuck around. Let's see. Straight up, right? Um... So it wasn't necessarily a black or brown issue, but it started to look that way. Um, and in any case, man, the brothers, you know, they accepted the, 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 you know, the recourse of what was going on. And they said, you know what? You're right, Holmes. It was a little derogatory. And Tiger decided as a grown man, as a real man, to take the video down. Now, people are calling for criminal to take this video down. They're calling for criminal to take this up. How do I feel about it? I don't feel he's making fun of. I believe he's just saying, you know, he's, he's showing you a piece of our culture. A piece of what we do, a piece of what we say. You know, that'd be like someone coming at me, damn, gun, I don't like the way you say torta with the snack habit. That ain't cool, bro, because you're making my, my whole lady, she's big, and every time she sees you, I know her fucking pussy gets wet, but at the same time, she doesn't like it. I don't care what she likes, right? Because I'm not intending to disrespect her. I'm just being funny. I'm doing it for my own reasonings. I'm showing a part of our culture. I'm showing how we talk behind closed doors, okay? That's it. If you see a fan chick walking, ta torta. Don't say it. Like that. I ain't mad at her. I don't want to hurt her. I don't want to hurt her feelings. That's, it. That's why I don't say it in front of her, really. <laughs> but I, at the end of the day, man, it's all love and respect. It's just part of our, it's just a slang word, man. It's not going to really hurt anyone. And if someone does feel hurt by it, and some people might, you know, I understand. Now, let's get to criminal because the wind blows. Um, 
The reason why people are choosing to take what he said and run with it um, is because in the past, man, there's been so much controversy with this guy being what people call him a dick writer or people call him, you know, taking other people's words and twisting them or clout chasing. And I truly believe, man, you know, I've had my discrepancies where he said Gunners Collective this and that. And I, was, I didn't even know the bottle. That's guy I knew. He licked his fucking eyelids damn near every time, every video. That's all I knew about him. I said, oh, the lick lipper or the lip licker. Yeah, I know him. I, I don't know him personally, but all I see is fucking about that. You know, I'm going. He looks like fucking Chung from fucking uh, the Goonies. <laughs> he's licking his shit. That's all I knew about it there. Oh, he's talking shit about you. It's damn right. Again, I seen the video. <laughs> oh, hell no. Right? And I was, it was on. And I said what I said, and I said I was going to leave it at that. And I didn't want to speak on Mr. Criminal's name ever again. And I won't speak ill about him other than just keeping it real and saying how I feel. And yeah, ain't no problem with that. Ain't no fun if the homie gun can't have nothing, you know? Ask the torta. Mm, she'll tell you. And the winner is. Now, this bottle, um, you know, a lot of people don't like him in the industry. And then a lot of people do. And it's up to you to what you truly believe. If you support his music, if you support the raza. And I know you say, well, hey, Mexican ass, why should we support him? Because he represents the culture, man. That's just like if an Africano brother came up right now, man, and he wanted to sing Mexican, Spanish music, or whatever the fuck it was. You know, I'm sure a lot of Mexicanos, a lot of paisitas will support him. Hey, hey you seen that the Africano? That fucker's bad. Mm, 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 mm. They'd be all into it. Yo quiero una pinche botella de bucanas and some pineapple juice. Y un trago de fucking patron. Let's go, right? And it's, it's on. It's just on. It doesn't matter what race or ethnicity you are. If you represent it well, man, people are going to fuck with you. They're going to love you. That's it. You know, with Mr. Criminal, he has such a history in the past of, I guess, stepping on toes or people not liking him for whatever reason. You know, maybe because he wears them fucking hot ass gloves during the summertime or his fucking shades are so black he'll get pulled over for bad tint. I don't know. I just know one thing is that um, people shouldn't just go in on him because of this song. Because if someone else made it that they liked, they wouldn't be saying shit. That's the truth. Truth of the matter is, if, if a rapper like, say, Little Rob or, or someone who's well-respected in the game and loved, you know, made a song like this, nobody would be tripping. But because it's criminal and he has a little bit of a history and he's a YouTuber and he has a podcast and, and so much people dislike him, uh, now it's a big issue and a big deal. To tell you the truth, I'm going to be real. I know I'm having fun with this about those eyelids because he licks them. But I'm going to tell you, I don't see no problem in it, man. I can't hate and be a hypocrite on a man of a word that I use myself. Now, if I'm wrong, Holmes, and it's derogatory, and I shouldn't wash, it is, it is a little, it's just a little bit derogatory, right? But if it's that bad and it really makes people feel that way, then say something. You know, then say something. But to be holding this whole discussion about he should be taking the music down and this is making us look bad and he ain't even Mexican and he doesn't have the right to say this and that. Well, there's a lot of people speaking on it that ain't Mexican either, Holmes. I'm just saying. You, there's... You can't make two right, uh, wrongs a right, Holmes. There's no way. You either roll with the fucking punches or you get hit by them. Straight up. Bob and Weave. I said, Bob and Weave. Ellie Dodger. Ellie Dodger. Right? You got to fucking, you got to dip. You know, dip. And I slide. And I slide. And I slide. You got to slide, homie. You got to fucking slide. You know, and this ain't no merry-go-round. So trip out. When it comes to should people be tripping, I don't think so. Let this vault the criminal get his bag, man. Stop hating. People need to stop fucking hating on this dude. You know, um, I know he said things about me in the past. I don't care, bro. You think that affected me? I, I, I live. I wiggle, right? None of that affects me. But with this bottle right here, man, um, you know, leave him alone. He doesn't look like the type of individual that could take criticism. You know, it looks like it will upset him. But the Torta song, like I said, it, it wasn't all that. It was a little catchy. Just like the Icaramba song was catchy. It's the message behind it that got people tripping. You know, if you truly feel that way about Mr. Criminal, then do what he does. Because I know the history of Mr. Criminal, like I said, is a lot of turmoil, a lot of animosity from other people and him towards other people. And it's just a lot of he said, she said, man. This YouTube shit will get everyone in a twist, man. It's crazy. Instead of loving and respecting and showing a lot of support for all the raza, everyone's constantly trying to tear each other down and expose each other and disrespect each other and belittle each other. That's not the path, homes, that we should we trailblaze, homes. That's not what it's supposed to be like. It's supposed to be support. Yeah, if a homie fucks up. See, look, I got homies from my barrio. And if you, those of you that know, know what's up. If you got homeboys from your barrio, right or wrong, homies, unless it's some weird shit, right or wrong, you're going to back this play and then ask questions later. 
If the homie pulls up, it's okay, there's like 10 Africanos out here. They want it, homes. You're not going to say, why? What'd you do? You're just going to say, fuck it. Uh, grab my thing. Let's get it, right? Then later on, what happened was because he had a whole lady, he had a big old ass, and I whistled. I went, oh, okay. Well, the homie was in the wrong, but it doesn't matter if he was in the wrong. He's always in the right because he's the homie, right? You know? That's the same thing with the culture, with the raza. Yeah, one of our own or someone who represents our own doesn't necessarily have to be Mexican, in this case, Argentinian, right? can say something that, you know, we feel and it's something that should be kept behind the scenes and checked, G-checked. You know, if the rest is feeling some type of way, I'm like, can I get at you? Let me come Let me come over. Watch out. Watch out. That song you did, eh? The torta song? I thought it was catchy, right? It was cool. It was, cool. It was like this, like that. But the rest is feeling some type of way, eh? So what we're going to have to do is, how much money did you make off that? How much money? Let's get, okay, let me get my 30% off the tie. That's right at the top. You know how we do it. And then uh, I'm going to take another half of the half because uh, I feel that you disrespect me. And now I'm going to take a third. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, those are all in the pocket. So, let's get, what do I get? Uh, you get you get the, 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 the torta song. There you go. I'm going to make a part two, eh? And we'll be back. That's just it. I don't know, man. At the end of the day, I don't see nothing wrong with it. Maybe, I, maybe I'm wrong. You know, maybe it was classless. Maybe he didn't show no class. Uh, maybe he's just utilizing the the raza to get a bag, culture vulture shit, you know. But he's no one's had a problem when he's representing the sur or he's representing the lowrider culture, or he's representing the Chica chicanismo. Or he's doing all that. No one seems to have a problem with it. But he says torta, and all of a sudden it's a fucking big issue, right? I don't think it's an issue. You know, if a woman feels some type of way, I'm sure she'll tell him, she'll DM him, she'll let him know, you know. And that's up to him as a man to decide what he's gonna do with it. If he's gonna hear her. Or if he's just going to fucking ignore her. You know, at the end of the day, we can't dictate that man's program and we shouldn't. Now, if he was exploiting the rasa saying, you know, bad derogatory terms, you know, you know, talking about Home Depot or talking about this or that, like so many others have, then I'd have a problem. Then I'd say something, you know, because don't fuck with my paisas. Don't fuck with the Mexicanos. But if you say, Sasuke, she's a torta, torta, and she is. Sasuke, Jenny, Craig, or Craig, Pensa. I took it back old school. Just do your thing, you know? Anyways, with that being said, man, I hope that I brought a smile to your motherfucking face this morning. You know what it is, man. As far as Mr. Criminal goes, leave him alone right there. Look at that vato. That vato looks like he's dressed for the winter every day. Leave him alone. Um, he's just doing his thing, man. He's trying to get a bag. He can't be mad at the vato for trying to get a bag. You know, now, if he disrespects the rest, I'll be the first one to let you guys know. I'll be on it. You know what I mean? Quit. But until then, you know... Let me know how you feel about the torta song. Is it derogatory? He shouldn't make it. He should take it down. People are talking about it. Or it's just another fucking song. It's no big deal. It's not like it's going to chart anyways. It's not like too many people are going to listen to it. There's only 10 of us that have. <laughs> and I only did it for the purpose of this video. With that being said, I hope that you move with a purpose. Get everything that you want coming to you. And remember, at the end of the day, I'm not fucking with Mr. Criminal's music. I'd rather bump Belle Bib DeVoe because that girl is poison. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Heavy is the head that wears guns crown. I'm going to continue to strive and struggle and struggle and strive for what I truly believe in. And that's fucking keeping it real. No added preservatives, man. I'm going to let you guys know what it is. I'm going to call a hoe be a hoe. So you can't stop you from getting ganked. But now let's play Big Bang Take Little Bang. You already know what it is. The gun. Bang, bang.